So I pulled three. And when I read them, as I was laying them down, I thought about my prayer that I prayed yesterday with God and how I asked for that agape love. And it was amazing because I just felt it just wrap around my spirit and I felt the love that I'm talking about. I'm far from perfect. I have a lot of things to change and a lot of habits or soul ties to break. But I know that I ask God for help. I lean on him. I trust in him. And I need to rekindle the relationship that I used to have with the Lord. Get back to where I used to be and then some. But the fears of living in the past and flashes of the past come from Satan. God never intended for us to have flashbacks and relive our past. He says to live now in this moment and to trust in him and to lean not on our own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge him and he'll direct our paths. I asked the Lord the simple, for the simple thing like to help me learn how to love me and he's given me that gift. And then I had to ask for his guidance in raising a teenager and I have to ask for his help when I miss the other one my daughter and I have to ask for his help when I stumble and fall I thank him in the greatest times I thank him that I have air to breathe right now, a safe place, a roof over my head, food in my stomach, a place to, to bathe, a place to sleep, and to fur babies. And I thank him for meeting all of my physical and spiritual needs for today and protecting me. And I ask him to help me forgive those that I have a hard time forgiving. Help me to learn how to forgive them. And I know that no matter what happens, that he's there. So to live is for Christ and to die is gain. If we don't live our lives by the word of God, the Holy Bible, what God intended and the way he intended for us to live, then how can we be a teacher? But anyways, nothing is a mis nothing happens by mistake. Everything happens as it is supposed to. I'm grateful for today. And that's it.